this is part of the Hex, uh, Hex River Valley. present in front of us. I think it's down on this side. Yes. Okay. This is this is it number four for Yun Crescent. Um, you'll see you've got a entrance at the back and from the front that you can that you can get to your house um, 
you only have one neighbor and you will only in all perpetuity only have one neighbor because on this side you've got the neighbor this side you've got road that side you've got road and on that side you have a vineyard how cool is that check this out a real honest to goodness vineyard I also heard that this house here, your across the road neighbor, to put it that way, um, he is the local doctor. Now, if you've ever been interested in owning a part of Africa, here is your opportunity. Um, this plot of ground, it's 1,081 square meters, is part of an estate of a deceased person, my late stepfather. And uh, it is the, my family isn't making any profit on this. This is purely just to settle the estate and and get it you know get it finished. Um, it, the, the the sum will is about three hundred thousand rand. That works out to about fifteen thousand dollars. So this is just to cover the outstanding bond. No one is making any, any profit off of this. Um, as I mentioned uh, in another part of the video, you have one neighbor on that side, and that's it. Across the road, about 45 degrees from where I'm standing, there's another house that has the local doctor. And then all around you, it's just mountains and vineyards all around you. Here across the road, I saw there's a, there was a little shop. Uh, if you go just over there to that road and you walk down like two minutes away and you are in the middle of town the infrastructure in this town is pretty good it's a tourist attraction there's a lot of good stuff happening around here um, it's a very quiet little spot the town is really nice and quiet a uh, really ideal place if you want to retire on our way here we saw a little girl who was busy riding a little bicycle just down the road here Anyways, guys, I'm going to um, also include another service uh, to whoever buys this thing off of my channel. And I'll be putting my email address up somewhere up here and in the description below. You can email me. Uh, whoever buys this thing will also have my services as a permaculture designer for six months after they bought this area. To help you sort out, look at what the soil looks like, help you sort out your water recovery and your water infiltration, help you deal with uh, getting your electricity off the grid, things like that. So you will have my services twice a month. I'll come through and I'll be available basically 24-7 on the telephone to help you design a proper permaculture plan for this area. I would love to see you guys and meet whoever is going to be the author, uh, going to be the buyer. I would love to meet you guys and come in. And yeah, and at that moment, my camera decided to <laughs> it had, had enough. So uh, what I was saying is I would love to meet whoever is going to buy this area. <clears throat> I'm going to go help you deal with any problems you have over here. All municipal services are available. All right. Water, sanitation, uh, refuse removal, all of that is available. You are on the edge of town. So from this point on, as I said earlier, it's just, it's just agricultural stuff. It's just vineyards and so on. Um, let me take the camera and just pan around and show you these beautiful mountains. In winter, they are apparently covered in snow, but I haven't been here in winter. Um, so the moment this is, this is a bit of an overcast day, so you lose a lot of the actual beauty of the mountains because they're really, really spectacular. Yeah, and this will be the view from your front door. Um, one of the things I, I think I forgot to mention is full municipal services are available right here. Um, electricity, water, sanitation, refuse removal, all of those things, they are all available. So um, I think this, this is really a bargain, um, especially at that price. Hi there. <laughs> and so, uh, yeah, let me go back home. This is what the neighborhood looks like. As you can see, it's very nice and quiet.
Okay, so this is, uh, we're leaving town now. We just passed the fire station. So fire and rescue is also here. I'm just going to stop for something to eat here by the, by the filling station. And then we're going to hit the road. And then I'll see you guys in the rest of the video when I get home. I want to show you some of the statistics and some photos of what the valley looks like in the rest of, you know, in, in, uh, in the rest of um, the year and other seasons and so on. But check out those mountains, man. And just if you're interested, here is the, the Durance cellar for wine sales. I just ordered some sandwiches here. And uh, just in case you think that you're going to be living completely out in the boondocks, you're not. And this is the view when you're leaving uh, the Durance again. You're headed back towards, and we're heading in the direction of Cape Town now, which is maybe about an hour's drive straight ahead. Okay, I'm back at home, and so let's look at um, at the map. So this is. Uh, sort of a part of the map of, of the Durance. You'll see right in the middle there's a little yellow spot. That little yellow spot is where this uh, plot is located. If we zoom in a little bit further there you see Fulin Crescent pretty much exactly in the middle. And again the yellow spot is um, is this property. Here's a satellite photo of it. Um, I just highlighted the, the part in the middle where the, where the, the, the plot is located and there we're going a little bit closer and there we're going even closer and I now stop the highlighting because I'm guessing you already know where it is. Um, this is the uh, uh, coordinates or these are the coordinates if you want to find it on Google Earth. Uh, so if you just put that in it'll, it should take you exactly to this property. Uh, this is a street map view of the of the place taken in August last year. So that was what is that that was like a six eight months or whatever ago um, as you can see that's that's the prettiest season almost because it's just after winter and then you get all of these pretty little felt flowers growing everywhere um, there's just looking down the street and again Google Earth uh, looking from the from the plot towards the mountains um, there's a lot of cool things to do in the area uh, one of them is this a train tractor or tractor train whatever you want to call it that seems to be very popular with people I found a couple of very nice pictures of this and uh, there it is from a from a different angle um, there's a few websites that I found um, I'm sure if you search for the Durance the name means the thorns because of all the acacia trees that you get there uh, but these websites will give you a lot of information that I might not because this video is already going over long. Um, here's just an ex extract for one of those websites um, where they describe um, a little bit about the town, that it's a small town, where it's located, and there's all kinds of information if you check on those websites. Um, as I promised earlier, there's, there's a photo of what it looks like in, in, in autumn when the orchards are starting to lose their color. Oh, they're really most colorful then, but just before they start losing their leaves. There's another angle, and uh, these are the mountains. And uh, this this will be uh, this will be the guy who buys this. This will be his view in winter. I think this is a fantastic offer. 